Good. Ha! How can atheists contact them. God? What's up? Hey, we beat Dinamo Zagreb, and we deserved it. Jordan Graham with the 86th minute winner. Oh, don't worry. It's just our 17-year-old wonder kid who was breaking his way into the first team and improving like an absolute madman. Yeah, no worries at all. Just, just, just shattered his foot in the preseason. Three to four months for David Dietz. Goodness me. Who's the other striker? Lucas Pierre, the 15-year-old. Guess what, man? Your time to shine. All right? Your time to shine. All right, guys. We've lost Bruno Piri. So, uh, now we really need to find a center back. Bruno Piri signed with Sturm Graz, which, I mean, it's removed a giant wage from our wage budget. But we would have preferred that it came from somewhere else. Akos Kashkish is in. Super balanced, physically accomplished, technically proficient in the first touch and passing, you know, and defensively. It's just, there is no hole in Akos Kashkish game. Even has a decent weak foot. Like, this guy is just rock solid. Rock solid. And now we got to decide what to do about Ian Ortiz. Can I just be happy for five seconds? Oh, my goodness. I am happy. Our scouts finished the deal. What do we think of 18-year-old right back Ian Ortiz? I like him. He's got the stuff physically. He's got the stuff mentally. He can tackle. We can teach the uh, marking, but his positioning is sound. He is a really creative uh, right wing back. I like this deal. 100000 a year. That's it. I like, I like the way it's situated. No main concerns outside of five determination, which is the fastest moving attribute in the game. We can fix that, no problem. Yeah, and he's got sick flair. You can't teach the flair. You can't teach the tackling for an 18-year-old. He's a young 18-year-old, too. He turned three months ago. <laughs> he has eight free kicks and tries them from long range. That's the flair talking, okay? Strength and marking are warning flags, both trainable. That's what we care about. And his potential, we haven't exactly drilled down from scouting, but we've drilled down his attributes, and I think he's a contributor immediately. Uh, learning right back this season. <sighs> We're getting him. Ian Ortiz, welcome to the team. Where is Marchetta? He's got a good value. He's unhappy. Have any real interest in moving? He's just signed a new contract with his club. Happens to be this club. Be happy with that asking price, but on the high side, eight hundred thousand guarantee you he complains. No way. There it is. No way. That's the asking price. These agents—they don't know their players at all. You know, they—they they don't even—they don't know. Way above his value. Way above his value. 475,000. That seems right. Oh, for the love of all that's good and holy. Ah! Yeah, actually, can I make him leave? Yeah, let's do that. Wow, I hate this. I've ended up at this screen before. I have to apologize, dismiss his concerns convince him to stay or threaten him. We got plenty of players that actually want to be here. There we go. Now he wants to move. Okay, Margetta, Draga Margetta hands in a transfer request. Cool. We won the battle for God's Power Tower as well. We should be refining that scouting report so we can make an educated decision. But ladies and gentlemen, Caleb Spear. <laughs> has decided to sign his contract. The incredibly high potential, uber consistent, left-footed center back from the United States who can play the entire back line, a fact that I didn't even notice until just now. 
The only concern we have is the development of his tackling long term because we know his strength will come in. We are signing kids that can grow with this team now up to another level. We are signing kids that can grow with this team. And Caleb Spears, one of those kids, he's coming in, he can grow with this team. God's Power Tower, it's been granted. We have a contract in for God's Power Tower. Homeboy is going to need some good hidden attributes to make that contract worth it. Helmuth Bogdanovich, welcome in. We got a scout. We are delaying. That's our first delay on God's Power Tower. Helmuth Bogdanovich is in. We got like four balls up in the air right now. And an elbow this still should be there. We need a wing sub. Captain not selected today. Well, oh, we actually, uh, our captain, vice captain are both gone. Cool. Forgot about that. That feels like something that's important. All righty, kids. Here we go. Let's go win ourselves a match. Let's do it. Up the door for his new season. Let's go take care of business. All right. Very smart. Ortiz. Get our, uh, they've... Oh my goodness, it's a, I mean, I mean, ref. Great job, referee. Supremely well done. Obvious pen, very obvious, great goal. Team goal, really. That a boy, Spear. Well, that a boy, great challenge, Keshkish. We'll give him shots from there. But good timing in the challenge from both center backs to disrupt that early move. Oh. Black was the best goalkeeper on the face of the earth. I really need a much better season from Slavija Radovic. He was so bad last year, he lost a starting spot towards the end of the year. But we know his talent. We've reevaluated him in training. We know that talent is still there. Oh, that was nice. Venema. Venema. Classy buildup from the triangle of Custodio, Oliveira, and uh, my boy Venema. And then Venema just. Oh, you know, well. Well. Nice. Venema make the pass. Yes. Oliveira's in behind. Great touch. Bad finish. It's a saucy little caress with the left foot, though. Hmm. Oh, Custodio to lay eye. Beautiful. Oh! Olivier makes a tick over. All the way from the Solomon Islands to the score sheet again. Raphael Leai. What a quick burst. And a tiny finish. Solomon Essie. All right, Graham. Oh, Slavija. Beautiful, Venema, my goodness. Oh. Ortiz has the ponytail. You love it. Custodio. Ooh. Ortiz. Nice. Oliveira. Get in, son. <laughs> Ian Ortiz with the assist. Put it on a plate for Joe Oliveira. What a triangle with Ortiz surprising the defense on the run first. Oliveira first to it. Bashes it into the back of the net. Venema. Oh! That was his best shot of the day. I like the fact that he hasn't lost his confidence. Oh, Ortiz! Can't play right back, by the way. Oh, Ortiz! Oh, no! Venema! Oh, what a play by Ian Ortiz! Jumps the pass, flips the ball up to Vainam, arounds the keeper, and gets denied. Great pressure, great pressure! Oh, Vainam! Oliveira! What is happening? What in the world? Oh my. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It's great. I had a great time.
So we have Ian Ortiz making a great play. Guy can't play right back. Boom. Steps up. Interception. Sees the field. Flips the ball for Venema. Beats the keeper there. Shot is blocked. Gobrich starts panicking. Clears it off his own player. Now Oliveira saved. Oliveira blocked. Custodio blocked. Cleared. Awesome. Just a tremendous effort by us to not score. Oh, Oliveira. Nice touch. Again, lovely for me and Ortiz. Leai, Oliveira. How is this not a goal? Dude, how is everything we're doing not a goal? Full credit to them. They are chucking numbers forward. We have been outplayed the last 10 minutes. I know I'm not, oh, there it is. I know I'm not making tactical changes to like compensate for this, but I shouldn't need to. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Shaky stuff, shaky stuff there. Wow, that was a perfect pass from Albanese and what a finish from Oliveira. Simply sublime. Well, we won. Uh, but the finishing bugaboos there, 4.08 XG, three goals. That's a lot of missed chances. And we did give up some uh, some balls in towards the goal. But I got to praise the team because we out XG'd them by three. And that's, you know, that that's worthy of praise towards the team on the road cup match. Okay. 